let me just say um, welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a while since uh, since I've had a chance to vlog. I've been really, really busy. I've had a very busy theatrical season. I uh, just got done doing The Full Monty. And yes, I am talking The Full Monty. Brother got naked, man thong and everything. It was awesome. But that's besides the point. I'm just going to kind of make this really, really quick. I am here to say that the LA Kings, which is a team that, honestly, I've been making fun of for a long time because I had said a million times that they haven't been anything since the 90s when, Rain Gre when Gretzky was there. And up until this season, I've been right. <clears throat> um, they've had an amazing run so far, and they've been able to do it the right way. You know, they've, they've got killer defense. They've got a killer goalie in net with Quick. And you know what? They're 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 attacking the boards. They're def they're defending their side of the ice. They're clearing they're clearing out every single line combination on that team is just they're they're looking awesome. I mean, we're we you know we're people are focusing on the NBA playoffs, and you know you don't the playoffs haven't started until you've won a road game. Well, let's let's face it. Uh, <laughs> the LA Kings have won every road game that they've been on so far because they've only had seven home games. This was their seventh total home game throughout this entire playoffs, which means they've been on the road the entire time and they've been dominating. So I didn't do a Stanley Cup preview because one, I was in the middle of doing a show <clears throat> and and two, I'll be honest, I wasn't paying as much attention to hockey as I normally do. Again, thanks to the wonderful world of theater, but that's okay. But I'm, I'm focused on it right now and I'm, and I'm back on it right, right at the right time. Um, However, the Kings have had a problem closing out with Game 4s. I don't have the stats in front of me, but I know when they played the Coyotes to get to the Stanley Cup Final, they didn't close it out in Game 4. They closed it out uh, in, in the next game. So hopefully they can close it out uh, again later on this week uh, in, in Game 4 because they, they are at home. They've been playing relatively well at home, but they love to play on the road. So I won't be surprised if this game, if this series goes uh, five, possibly, possibly to a game six. I won't be surprised, but you know, let's let's hope that they can win it at home because there's nothing better than you know lifting up Lord Stanley when you're at home. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch all 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 the rest of the games in this series because you know I'm I know my team's out. My team has been out since the All Star break, the Avalanche. You know, maybe next year, but you know, at the at the end of the day, that's a text message. Um, but at the end of the day, I want to see Lord Stanley come out to play. That's that's what I want to see. Just like you know, if you're a if you're if you're a uh, baseball fan, you you want to see the World Series trophy, which I actually don't know the name of because it seems like every trophy has a name. You've got the Lombardi Trophy in the in the NFL. You've got Stanley Cup for for hockey. You've got the something or other U.S. Open Cup. There's a name that's attached to it, and I don't know what the MLS Cup is. It might, it might just be, in fact, the MLS Cup. I don't know if it's named after somebody. So, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, Lord Stanley right now is what it's all about. I don't really care about the NBA playoffs because, well, I'm a bitter Seattle Supersonics fan, and I really, really hope the San Antonio Spurs can really pick that up and, and win that series. Um, and speaking of basketball, for the uh, first time in about uh, ten plus years, give or take, I went to my. I can now say I've officially been to my very first sit down and actually watch and have no responsibility Seattle Storm WNBA game. Gotta give a big shout out to uh, to my connection there. His code name is Salmon. You know what I'm talking about, and uh, so a big big shout out for him. Um, for the, for for the ticket and and the seat and it was it was a great seat it was a great game we got our first first uh, first victory we also suffered a suffered a heartbreaking loss against the LA Sparks last night if I remember correctly um, it it comes down to this with the Seattle with the Seattle Storm my my assessment after one game the team depends on both Sue Bird and Lauren Jackson those are your corner cornerstones of that team and <clears throat> I can tell from a low post perspective that. They're definitely suffering. They're not getting as many rebounds. They don't seem to be getting the getting the points inside the paint. We all know Sue Bird's going to score outside, and that's okay because that's that's what she's that's what she's good at. She's got ice water in her veins, and she she can she can shoot it from from anywhere. I mean, it's it's quite amazing. I kind of equate her to I, I wouldn't say not so much as Steve Nash. Steve Nash has got she, he's kind of got that wild man mentality, but I 
consider her a Steve Nash with a little bit of Mono Ginobili kind of mix in the sense of she'll shoot from anywhere and she will make shots. And when she gets hot, she's literally unstoppable. So I, I definitely like that <clears throat> as well. So go Storm. Hopefully this will be the first in a lot of games uh, for me. Got a couple other sh shout outs. Um, shout out to the to, to my boy Brian Shunky and the Shunky family for allowing me to go to uh, <clears throat> to a couple games um, <clears throat> earlier uh, earlier last month. Also, a big shout out to my boy Robert Craighead. He not only hooked me up with a ticket in the suites with food at a Mariners game, but he also hooked me up <clears throat> with tickets to a couple Sounders games. I went to the LA Galaxy game earlier in the season where Montero got his got his first goal. Nice rocket shot from 35 yards out <clears throat> into into no man's land. Also called the upper 90. That that was great. And also went to the Columbus Crew game, which wasn't that great of a game, but I still had a really, really good time. So, big ticket shout-outs to, to those people. That's it for Average Joe Sports today. I'm just going to make it nice and quick. Peace out. Watch the Stanley Cup Finals, guys. Hockey is the joint. This is what it's all about. If you don't watch it for the rest of this, for the, for the, for the regular season, watch it for right now, because you're seeing dominance on the ice. I like that. Peace out. <laughs>